on everyone so the los angeles lakers played their first summer league game today in the california classic against the miami heat now the game as a whole wasn't really much to uh write home about it was uh it was pretty much a blowout miami just shot the lights out in the first half and basically the game was over at halftime uh but you got to see some nice flashes from several players that i really want to highlight um most of these guys were exactly what you thought not nba ready yet i'm um, gonna be developing guys or guys that aren't gonna make uh, either roster the nba or the g league roster but Couple, uh, couple bright spots, especially from some key guys that I really do expect uh, to, to have some potential this year and for the future. Um, now we obviously we didn't get to see everybody right, and as pre or as uh, summer league continues to progress, we'll get to see more and more players. Like even Lewis, we didn't get to see a lot of him, just kind of in spots, uh, which. I'm not going to really talk about him because we didn't really get a good sample size from him. Just kind of want to highlight the guys that we actually got to see a good chunk of and kind of give an idea. Again, it's just the first game. So, you know, take it as you may. But, you know, it's still a good sign, especially for guys that played in Summer League last year or played in the G League or NBA, such as Max Christie, who's on the screen. And that's where I want to start. I want to start with Max Christie. Um, he looked like a guy that didn't belong there, right? He looked like a guy that was an NBA player. Uh, he looked the most NBA ready over everybody. He was getting whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted. Um, he did still raw. He still needs to work on some stuff, especially like the off the dribble uh, sh shots. Uh, he he's kind of needs to find that flow. Needs to find that rhythm there, but. He was getting to the basket at will. He was finishing over guys. He was hitting some tough shots. He had some really tough shots that he just was able to just control his body and and knock them down. And then um, the three ball, uh, he, he's got to he's got to continue to work on that. Um, hopefully, he uh, he shoots better in the NBA than he did in the summer league. Which also side note, um, he did shoot much better in the NBA for the Lakers this past season than he did in the G League. So I wonder if it's just that, you know, spacing isn't as good. Uh, you're not getting the ball in your pocket as as fluidly as, like, if you're playing with NBA-level guards. Uh, you're also not the focal point, right, as he is in Summer League here where, like, the defense is, like, honed in on him and just all over him where, you know, it, on the Lakers, he's going to get a lot more open looks and stuff. But both sides of the ball, uh, he looked exactly how we wanted him to look. He He was just coasting out there. He wasn't playing too hard, too heavy, which that's exactly what you expect. Uh, we saw it with you know Reeves and, and guys like that. Whenever you have a guy that's like, all right, I'm already on the roster, um, you just saw his comfortability. Like he wasn't trying to like really do too much. He was kind of letting the other guys go to work. He had his nice little spots, right? He had a nice little stretch where he got like six straight points or something like that, and was just kind of taking over down the stretch. Uh, but for the most part, he just he did. He looked exactly how you wanted him to look. A guy that just played NBA games and didn't belong in summer league. He was just better than everyone else. Uh, and that's that's how it should be. But moving on, uh, Hood Shafino. Jalen Hood Shafino has a lot of potential to be a problem. He is really good at finishing through contact. Basically all the things we kind of figured, or at least I talked about on this channel when we were drafting him. He's going to be great in transition, great out on the break. Uh, he it was taking care of the ball, wasn't turning the ball over too heavily. Uh, he's great at getting to the rim, finishing through contact, being strong, being physical uh, with his good size. I really liked what I saw from Hood Shafino, and I really think he he has real potential. I mean, if you watched actually watched this game, he had his struggles early on, right? But you see that a lot with the rookies, right? They 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 take a second to kind of. All right, let me let me take my breath. Let me get my bearings. Let me let me get back into control. And once he did, you really saw the potential. Right early on, he was he was struggling. He was rough. Uh, but as he got comfortable, as he started to kind of let the game play, and he was just—I mean, they couldn't stop him. I mean, he was just getting whatever he wanted, getting to the basket, um, you know, finishing through contact on numerous occasions. Defensively, he was getting after it, uh, and. Also, I, I said the same thing with Max Christie last year, right? These rookies, a lot of times you'll see you're already on the roster, but they'll play as if they're trying to make the roster, right? Where like Max Christie, again, if you watch this game, you saw he knew I'm already on the roster. 
I'm all right. Like I'm good. I'm not going to go out here and kill myself. I'm going to, you know, I'll do a couple things here and there, go get some buckets here and there, but I'm better than everybody else. And I'm already on the roster, so I don't need to prove anything. Right. And that was a big thing that I said with uh, Christy last summer league. I said, look, he's great. Problem is he's not letting the game come to him. He's forcing stuff. He's being a little too, uh, just he's playing as a guy that's trying to prove like, oh, I, look, I'm, I can be this guy. Like, let me be on the roster. And I was like, once he takes a step back and he just lets the game come, he's going to be a lot better. And he was. Same thing with Shafino. He's a guy that you see he, he, he's got all the tools, all the intangibles. Now, the shot needs to work on the shot. Absolutely. That was a big thing coming in, right? He can't, he can't really shoot the ball at all. I mean, he even like airballed the three. Just like not very good at just shooting, period. Right? He he can knock down the mid range a little bit. He's got you know he had a couple of nice little just like pull ups, uh, but right now he is an explosive to the basket type guard. Um, he's a guy that can push out and transition. Got good size. Can grab the rebounds. Kick it out. Uh, I, I do. I like him. I think that he definitely could earn some spot minutes. Right? I don't think he's going to play a big role by any means or anything like that. But in certain spots, little spot minutes, I really think Shafino could, could make a real impact. Um, Cole Schweider, yeah, he's he's not he's not ready. He's just not. Like he he's out there. He, he looks like he's still glued to the floor. He just has no he just has no ability of shuffling or moving his feet. Still, like all the issues that he had last year are all still extremely prevalent this year he's a great shooter great shooter he would be nice as like a catch and shoot in the corner do nothing else type guy but I mean unless you're bringing him on just for like you know the Matt Ryan special where it's like w- w- games on the line we need a three put Schweider in and let him go to work he I mean he's six nine but he might as well be five nine the guy just doesn't know how to use his length use his size um, he's not quick footy. He's not athletic. Like he just, I mean, he went undrafted for a reason, right? He he was arguably the best shooter in his draft class, and people people didn't get him. He's a, he's a project. He needs work. Um, I mean, look, the guy could shoot the ball. There's no doubt about it. The guy can light it up, but he's a one trick pony. Like he really is. He's not even really good at like creating his own shot or like you know getting people off the line and just you know giving you that pump fake and. He, he he's still very raw. He's gonna need he's gonna need probably another at least a good year or two of development, which sucks because he's already 24, right? So he's already kind of getting up there in age, and it just again it's one game, right? So maybe we see some of that and we see some more than it. But he played a lot this game, and just again he just he still looks lost at times. He has no awareness. Like he's just, he's just not, he's not good at anything else but shooting. He's really good at shooting, and that's basically it. He's a one-trick pony, which doesn't mean that he doesn't have value, but it's just like, it, like if the Lakers can't, can the Lakers just really not do anything else? Like I saw, there's three or four guys on this roster that very likely aren't going to make the roster or make G League that I would rather bring in over Cole Schweider. Like, I just would. Like, even, like, Figueroa was solid and showed some flashes of this game, right? Like, Fudge has some potential. Um, you know, like, there, there's several guys that I would rather, like, give the opportunity and maybe give the potential upside than, than Cole Schweider, at least right now. He's got the size to be great, right? He, I mean, he he's almost like a... He's a poor man's Duncan Robinson, basically, right now, which is... I mean, Duncan Robinson is, you know, not great. Like, he has his moments when he's on, he's on. But at least Duncan Robinson, he just, he, he has a, he has awareness. Like, he's he's played in the NBA, right? He's got that. And the problem is the Lakers just don't have time to go let Cole Schweider make his blemishes and, you know, play 20 minutes a game and just be terrible out there and have to learn on the fly. No, like, and it's just, we had, I just, I wanted to see, I was hoping to see the strides that we saw in Max Christie. Like, Max Christie this game, you saw, and yes, to be fair, Max Christie did get NBA got, game and stuff like that, but Swider's kind of been there, done that, right? Like, I thought he would be more a little bit more of a standout, 
right? I thought he'd be a guy like you'd see some of the changes, and you just you really didn't see anything. It was just like we saw this exact same player last summer league. Um, so I don't know. I I, I I like Swider. I would love to see him develop better, but he just he's not ready. You know, I mean, if we're being honest, go if you didn't watch the game, go watch the highlights or rewatch the game, and go tell me Schweider's ready or deserves an NBA roster spot. He just doesn't. He just doesn't. And I, I look, I'm rooting for him, but he's not ready. Um, Colin Castleton showed everything that I said he would. Colin Castleton showed why I'm so high on him. Uh, his ability to finish through contact, his ability to handle the ball, his ability to finish strong and rebound and alter shots and block shots and be a floor running big. I mean, he runs beautifully, right? Like you see a lot of like seven footers and like when they run, they run kind of like almost like Bambi, right? Or like kind of clunky, like, and you're just like, uh, like, no, he runs like he's a six, four guard. Like, and he's, he was bringing the ball up. He was crossing people over. He had one play where it was a bad lob pass. And he tried to fight through the contact and and he didn't get the foul and the ball was on the ground and he just kept the dribble alive while like three guys were trying to get the ball and just kept the dribble alive and then was able to gather it and go up and get an and one. Like it was just beautiful. I was like, God, like there you go. Right. And, And again, his ability to run the floor makes him so valuable, especially on an NBA roster. Right. Because the Lakers love to run. They were top. They were one of the top teams in the league in transition. To have a big like Colin Castleton that can run the that can run the floor, be athletic, catch lobs, even run the break, start the break, right? I mean, because he did. He was getting rebounds and just running down the court and dishing it out to guys and getting guys involved. Like you saw all the intangibles. You saw the size. You saw the the just energy, the high energy. You saw the ability to play make, saw the ability to just set and like, not, he's not there yet, but the ability to potentially be a guy that you could even run your offense through at times. I'm not saying to the level of like Jokic or anything like that, but like, think of like a Mark Gasol, right? You know, where you could just dump the ball down to him in the post and let him go to work and make a play. Whether that's finishing at the basket, whether it's, you know, getting a dime for somebody else, right? Like, I could see that. And he's his shot isn't as bad as it had. I mean, he's been working on it, obviously. But his shot actually was pretty decent. I mean, he still needs to work on a shot, especially the three three ball. But like he was he hit a couple mid-range shots. He he just he had a couple nice just like elbows. Like it was it was good. It was good to see Colin Castleton. Um, kind of have a nice array, finish on a couple and ones, have a nice little, you know, mid range, like 15 footer, um, run the break, share the ball, fight hard for rebounds, alter shots. Like the guy, the guy did everything that we could ask for. I really, I'm telling you, I'm really high on him and he didn't even play as much as I thought he would. I thought he would get a lot of run and he did it. Um, and even in that short time, he, he was he was he was looking nice. So I am I'm really excited for a couple of these guys. Um I mean Shafino, Christie and uh, and Castleton were the big standouts in my opinion. Um as far as guys that can make the roster, right? Like Figueroa had some nice moments. There's a couple guys that had some nice moments, but they're they're more likely than not not don't have a chance of making the NBA roster. Um Christie and Shafino are already on the NBA roster. Colin Castleton what I, I I said I believe that he has the most potential to make it, and I thought what we saw, yeah, I think I think you, you can say like yeah, he has a real shot. But again, it's just one game. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it progresses. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What'd you think? What'd you think of the game? If you watched it, um, if not, go watch the highlights. Um, how do you feel? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know down in the comments.